Yeah, what's up guys? Uh, I'm outside now, going for my walk to my a park where I'm going to do my calisthenic workout. Um, I have my mask on right now, so it's going to be hard to hear me. You can. Uh, it sounds like I'm covering my mouth, that's because there's a mask on. So uh, anyway, I just want to mention something. Something that I was just thinking about as I was walking. You know, I read a book. I think I read it. I read it once, and then I read half of it again. Uh, not re read it. I, I listened to the audio book. So I listened to the audio book of the subtle art of not giving an F. And I read it all. I listened to it all, and then I listened to it again, but only half. And uh, the first lesson you will learn is by Charles Bukowski, um, a poet and a writer uh, back in the 1950s, 60s, I think, so 70s, I think. I don't know how long he last, uh, he, he wrote for or when he passed away, but basically, I'm going to take my mask off. So basically, uh, the gist of it is that he said to not try, okay? He said don't try, and I was just thinking about this. He said what you already want, what you already want to do, what you already love is already in front of you. He said don't try, meaning if you like soccer, then you like soccer. Don't try to like soccer. If you like basketball, then you like basketball. Don't try to like basketball. If you like writing, you like writing. Don't try to like writing. Something amazing. He said that what you already want is already there. It's already there in front of you. You're just ignoring it. And this made me think, you know, we're too busy watching porn, being distracted by other people on social media, playing games, we're too busy wasting time doing useless shit. I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'll be straight up with you. I know that it's quarantining, but very much so I use all of my time just wasting it. Playing games on my phone, hanging with my family, even though I love my family. It's just all a waste of the time. It's all useless. There's nothing coming out of it. There's no there's no long-term result or even short-term. The only the only places I think I'm using my time wisely is going for walks and doing my workouts, listening to audiobooks, cleaning when I can. This is the only stuff I think that I'm making the most of my time and uh, learning all I can about this journey that I'm on. Uh, praying and reading my holy book and learning about my messenger, peace be upon him. These are all the ways I'm utilizing my time effectively. Other than that, for everything else is just a waste. And it just makes me think I have to really, really undistract myself. Because this is what it is. You're just distracting yourself from what you already are. You know what I mean? This is the beautiful thing. And there's something out there called a dopamine detox. And a dopamine detox is when you completely free yourself from any form of distraction or overstimulating of the chemical dopamine. Playing games, watching television on your phone, all this shit, it's all a distraction, it's all a waste of time. Basically, a dopamine detox, you're wasting as little time as you can, so you can then be, uh, you can then be awakened and enlightened to what you're, what's already in front of you, but you're just not looking at it. We're too freaking busy distracting ourselves, bloody living a life around stupid shit. This is something that I found to be true. I'm just living my life around stupid shit, freaking stupid bloody distractions and temporary stupid things. You know what I mean? Apart from your wife, every woman is a distraction. They are not the priority. I made up this little theory. Put your head in books and not in boobs. Put your mind to purpose and not in pleasure. Just a little something I made up. I know it's kind of really stupid, but that's just something cool I made up. And it just made me think, so much of what I'm doing is just a waste of time. So much of what I'm doing is just useless. you got to utilize your time, energy, and attention wisely. And to really do that, go on this dopamine detox. It's freaking hard. I'm not, I'm, I tried it a couple times. It's freaking hard. But it's bloody effective. So guys, dopamine detox, 
and I'm gonna make a, another video on dopamine detox later. But this is just the beginning of it, just to get thoughts off my mind. Take care, day 44 today, and I'll see you guys later.